Hello again from Info on Scuba Diving. Well, how many of you have either taken photos like this or certainly seen some where there's no apparent uh, colour in the picture? In the past, it's been either very expensive or very difficult to correct. You may have had to have bought Photoshop from Adobe, which is quite an expensive but very good program, but you might not have even wanted to have learnt how to go through all the steps that uh, you need to do to correct for this. Well, there's a new program out by a couple of guys in America uh, called Randy Fredland and Rick Voigt. Both used to work for Kodak many years ago. One's an avid diver and the other's very good at programming and they've come up with this really great program. Uh, created back at the end of January and it's called Vivid Pix and we've been very kindly sent a copy. Let's see what we can do with this and a few other photos in a few clicks of a button. Uh, any of you that uh, have seen any of our videos before will know that uh, we have actually done a uh, correction for colour in Adobe Photoshop but this takes it to a whole new level if you just want to correct colour in your underwater photos. This is the uh, interface that you're presented with when you boot up and uh, it's very intuitive. I love the graphical interface of uh, the different icons here which we'll go through in a moment but first of all I'll select that photo up and uh, see what we can actually do with it. So you navigate basically to the folder where your pictures are and you're then presented with a load of thumbnails with various options uh, of what you think is the nearest match to where you want to go. So I'm going to go with this one to start with and you can see already it's dramatically reduced that green hue but if we go a little bit further into this on the left here depth removal well that's pretty obvious you've got the nice little snorkel icon there and mask for very shallow water and a deep sea diver's helmet here on the right to go for deeper so I'm actually going to extend that up and bring more um, correction in but obviously there's too much red there so what I want to do is bring a little bit more blue in now look at this already that's quite dramatic and if I put a bit of green in uh, maybe reduce that blue a little also play around with the brightness and just generally sort of have a little a little play with with what you've got here everything is resettable if you're not happy with what you've got you can totally reset it at the click of a button but even there look straight away that's a very very acceptable and imp amazing improvement over what's on the left Sometimes, by the way, you might get photos that don't really correct very well in colour anyway, but you have a very nice option here to change it to black and white. And what I can do here is pump up the, the contrast and maybe a little bit of brightness, and that looks really so much better, uh, even in black and white. But we'll go back to the colour. And uh, I think you'll agree, that's pretty amazing. You can download this, by the way, as a free trial. If you follow the link underneath the description here in the videos, uh, or click on the banner if you're on our website, it'll take you to the website where you can download a free trial. You can play around with it at your heart's content. The only difference being that you won't be able to actually save the images. Um, that's that's greyed out until you actually purchase it. It's only $49 as well, and I I think it's great value available for the PC or the Mac. I'm going to show you a few other photos so let's let's select a whole load here and just very quickly go through these so uh, we'll just we'll just highlight these we've already got that one so I'm going to uh, open all these up and then what we do to select another image is go skip one image and again we're presented with the thumbnails of where you think is the nearest option and again a little play around and huge improvement over the original. Um, there is a lot of improvements coming up for this by the way one of which will be the facility to crop your images uh, also uh, at the moment the when you do save the images it saves them in one particular resolution and they're going to be changing that to allow you to set the degree of uh, quality and also where you save them to so at the moment what it does is it will actually save the images in the same folder as the one uh, as the one where it is at the moment but add the word vivid afterwards so they're both in the same folder 
Um, another facility they're looking at doing is noise reduction uh, and also adding sharpness. Any improvements that come, by the way, in version 1 will be free of charge uh, updates to people. So I think that's a really good deal. Let's continue. Have a, another a look at another image here. Here's another one and uh, a bit of fan crawl. These all, all the, uh, by the way, are still images taken from video from uh, anywhere between 2004 and 2009. Uh, I think this is actually El Guna in Egypt uh, in 2004. So, again, we're playing around and already a dramatic improvement. Let's try another image. These aren't the most sharp pictures, and I do appreciate that, but the whole point was to show you how much they could be improved. And I think you'll agree that uh, just a little bit of a play around, there's a heck of a difference. I'm going to run a gallery at the end of this, this little video review, uh, showing you a whole load of images. And also, the other nice thing is, if you convert a short video clip to a series of JPEGs, you can correct underwater video it's a bit of a pain at the moment because you have to manually do each one save 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 um, but having talked to both randy and rick uh, they like the idea of implementing the batch a batch conversion uh, automatically which will do uh, then enable you to uh, create little short video clips and i think it's fantastic um, the whole thing works on an algorithm. It's algorithm based on uh, thousands of images which they've looked at and taken what they consider, what the algorithm then considers to be the best uh, fix for your particular image. Um, and what they're doing also is they're constantly adding to this algorithm gallery to improve the overall end quality. And I think, you know, for $49, this does a really, really good job. Um, one thing you can do is if you've got a number of pictures that are taken at the same depth in the same area, you can save the settings which you've manually put in around here on the color sliders or the contrast and the depth etc and save it I've actually done so here I've got one here for video correction and uh, that just enables me to uh, in the particular instance of a video clip that was all shot in the same place of correcting it very easily but look at this I mean it's just absolutely amazing uh, so much better than the originals and, and very very little in the way of actually having to uh, do anything with Photoshop for example you've got to uh, add layers you've got to uh, uh, a channel mix all that sort of stuff it's all gone it's all automated here just by um, clicking a button and finding what suits you best and uh, I think there you'll see there's some really good results come from this very quickly very acceptable results the images here are not great quality and I acknowledge that but um, it's really just to give you an idea of what can be done and uh, where you can take this so as I say if you want to buy the program it's $49 go to their website from the link at the bottom of the, of the uh, video and uh, you can download the trial have a go with it see if you like it and then uh, purchase it as well and uh, I hope you'll find it very useful um, again all these images just totally blow me away with uh, what can be done and just how you can uh, correct in, in very very quick and uh, easy stages there we are very much very much an improvement I think over the originals and that's it. So, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this review. I think it's a terrific program. If you haven't got Photoshop, uh, or if you don't want to go to the uh, extent of actually having to, uh, uh, you know, learn a program uh, and the intricacies, then this is ideal because it, it really is just a one, one or two clicks and you've got yourself a very happy uh, result there so have a look at the gallery have a look at the video clip also that i'm going to put on and uh, see what you think but for now from info on scuba diving thanks very much for watching and also thanks to randy and rick for sending us a copy over to uh, have a play with bye for now